Hey everybody, and happy holidays. Merry Christmas, happy Hanukkah, all of your holidays. Um, so I thought today on this warm, rainy, tropical day that I'm having where I live, we'll do another video. And uh, I have a lot of stuff from the post office here, but if you watch my channel, you've already seen this. My 2020 stamp year book that I'm working on. I still haven't finished it, but I do have the mail use stamps, which should be the final stamps for this yearbook. And I have some other stamps to show you as well. And we might get into a whole other album here today. If you hang around, this could be a nice long video. And so let's once again uh, look at my beautiful 2020 stamp yearbook. And the only stamps I'm missing is the mail use packet here. So let's just flip through it real quick. This will. Um, as, as you can see, it's a limited numbered book. This is 10,614. They only make so many. 13,000 copies, period. And um, we've got the Lunar New Year stamps. We've got the Gwen Eiffel Black Heritage stamp. The Arnold Palmer golf stamp, Maine Statehood, Earth Day, some good information here, American Gardens, um, the Harlem Renaissance. The Great Outdoors. Hip Hop. And it has like B-Boy, MC, Graffiti Art, and DJ. Uh, it's laid out there. Um, Bugs Bunny. Ruth Asawa, Ruth Asawa, uh, it's an art set here. Um, innovation, really cool set of metallic stamps here. And we've got the 19th Amendment, Women's Right to Vote. Mayflower in Plymouth Harbor, right here. And it shows the concept the artwork of the stamp and drug free USA right here and then we uh, are in now the mail use stamp section so um, hopefully I will have everything I need to fill this book up so let's keep your fingers crossed Sure hope so. So I'm pulling the contents of the envelope out, and that is everything. And the first thing we're looking for is a let's celebrate stamp. I'm going to try to um Kind of carefully set these aside. And I found it. Okay. And here we go. It is a 
really cool stamp with um, metallic ornaments on it. And it was issued on Valentine's Day, February 14th. A class of fun to celebratory greeting cards, invitations, and gift brand envelopes. So, they want to, I mean, I guess it's, it was issued on Valentine's Day, which makes it a little late. But you could use it for um, other celebrations. But it's a very pretty stamp. With the metallic on it. So let's commit it to the album now. And in we go. And now you will reside in my album forever. Okay. So one of my mail use stamps down and another page is finished in my album there's the chrysanthemum uh, round stamp which i'm really happy to have but next we have a thank you set of stamps here that needs to be added and this is the set And let's take a good look at it. It's once again with metallic. Um, these are poster stamps and these are very, very elegant and uh, very classy looking. Um, with the, the earth tones and the gold paint, these are a very, very nice appealing stamp. So, I'm ready to commit these to my album. And the thank you stamps are now a permanent part of this book. And what a nice couple pages this is here. Okay. Next, we have a very nice set, this fruits and vegetables set. Do um, you hear that rain? Okay, it is December 30th, um, and it is hot and humid and rainy because I live in the tropics, and that's just, that's just how Christmas is here. We're wearing shorts. Um, it doesn't feel very holiday-like. Here's the fruits and vegetables set. And it's quite a few stamps here. And this should have, well, this should have all of them on here, but I think the proper way to display it is like this, because this, displays all of them really nicely and I don't think that they're all on this one like the apples and so forth are not on it so we want to display this properly but is this looks a lot like Dutch still life paintings um, the idea of these still lives really if you um, research it wasn't just to paint pictures of fruits and vegetables a lot of these were um, these still lives were about death because many times they would show um, a good example would be it would show a nice uh, table with a bowl with fruits and vegetables in it and maybe bread and maybe a glass of wine and then there would be a, a half peeled orange and just sitting there half peeled because the idea was that the person peeling the orange died so these paintings were meant to re uh, represent death. It's true. Okay. Um, we have our protective sleeve. And we will now relegate the stamps to reside in this book forever.
and there they are. The fruits and vegetables now live in this book. And it looks great. The next page is wild orchids, and it's very similar uh, size. It's almost identical size to the fruits and vegetables um, sheet. And it's wild orchids. Uh, my wife really loves these flowers, and she often buys orchids, and um, likes to display them at home on the table. So this should look really nice in my book. And here is the sheet wild orchids and the back of it and this back will never be seen again after I put it into my book forever and I have my protector Hear that storm? I wonder if you can hear it. In the book, it goes. And it is in the book forever. Just move it up a little bit. That looks a little better. The next page is Garden Corsage. The contemporary casual floral collection featured on the two ounce garden corsage stamp looks like it was just picked from the garden as a perfect accent for any occasion so let us find the stamp and I found it and it would orientate like this this is the stamp. It's quite simple but pretty. Like something my grandmother would have liked to have used on a letter. Put it in a vertical protector here. And in the book you go. Garden Corsage now lives in my book. The next is Contemporary Boutonniere. A boutonniere is um, like a decorative flower that a man wears on his lapel on a suit. Let me get some coffee. So, and this is a contemporary one. So, the assumption being that um, if I were to be in an occasion that required a boutonniere, that's something I would want to pick. And it is in the book forever. Uh, the next one is this very cool pre-sorted star stamp. Um, I actually got one of these at work. And it came on my letter uncancelled. So I was thinking, well, if I have to find all these stamps on my own, at least I got a good start. This is the stamp. Pre-sorted star. It's simple but cool looking. 
It's red, white, and blue with gold USA. Make sure this is the right size protector. It's just big enough. Might want a bigger one, actually. Yeah, let's get a bigger one. In the book you go. Pre-sorted star is in my book. Next is Made of Hearts. Um, and it is a love stamp. There's usually a love stamp. Since the 70s they've been making them. This is it. Take a good close look at it, and as you can see, it's a heart made of smaller hearts. Okay. In the book you go. Okay. We just have a few left to go. So let's get going. And we've got Big Ben and the Grand Island Ice Caves covered here. These two. And Winter Scenes is the next one. So... Here is the sheet, and it's got some deer, a cardinal, a blue jay, a barn, a snow bunny, an evergreen tree, another barn, a path, some uh, draft horses, an owl, and we get back to the deer and the blue jay again. So it's a nice set on the back, has the the UPC just to, to scan it and in the book you go It looks nice in there. And here it will stay. Next is Kwanzaa, which is one of the holidays during our holiday season. It was created in 1966 and conceived as a unifying holiday in the face of struggles to end racial oppression in the United States. As we're getting close to the end, I'm going to go ahead and start sorting out what I have left here. Okay. I don't think this is the right one.
Okay. Got Kwanzaa in there. Next is Hanukkah. Which, of course, is the Jewish Festival of Lights. Okay. Hanukkah. Okay. We next have a Our Lady stamp. Our Lady of Guapulu. It's a nice painting. An 18th century painting from Peru. And hopefully it will fit in this uh I don't know, this one just seems almost too small. I sure hope I didn't use the wrong one here. Might very well have. I think the mail use is supposed to go on this one. I don't know if it's too late to I think it might be but we're gonna try anyway And let's put it in. And finally, the love set. And here we are. It's some Christmas scenes. A top, a tree, a reindeer, and a stocking. And there we have it. The whole book is full. And it looks great. Now we can put it in its sleeve.
there we have it. Another thing I got, which I thought you might find interesting, is this. This is a Sun Science set of first aid covers. First aid issue. You can see the Sun Science stamp. Isn't that pretty? All the different colors. It's a coronal hole. Plasma blast. Coronal loop. Active sun. Solar flare, and sunspots. Very cool. I thought you'd find these kind of interesting. Next, um, I got this uh, Marvin Gaye Prince of Soul. High Fidelity 40, 45 RPM Stereo. Uh, it says it's a Marvel Gaye vinyl folio. Marvin Gaye was one of the most influential musical performers of his generation. With this funky and colorful folio, the Postal Service invites you to celebrate the man known as the Prince of Soul. Inspired by album designs from the 1960s and 1970s, this fun retro keepsake includes a frameable vinyl record that comes with a Marvin Gaye stamp affixed to the front. Inside the folio's cover, you can read all about famed artist Kadir Nelson's approach to capturing the essence of a Motown legend. Also included is a pane of 16 Marvin Gaye stamps. So let's see what this looks like. So it looks like a 45 record and you can open it up and it's got information about Marvin Gaye inside of it. Ever since he was 10 years old, stamp artist Kadir Nelson has loved Marvin Gaye. When he, heard, when he first heard the famous Motown artist Silky Smooth finger snapping interpretation of I Heard It Through the Grapevine, he was instantly hooked. And then we have this, which I'm dying of curiosity to see. And it's um, first is a sheet of stamps. The Marvin Gaye stamp set here. It looks like an album cover, and then here's your stamps, which is very nice. And then what is this? 1939, Marvin Gaye was born. Marvin Pence Gaye Jr. He would later add an E to his surname. 1957, after a short stint with the Air Force, Marvin joined a singing group calling themselves the Marquis. The group released the novelty single Why Earp in 1961. Marvin released his first solo album, The Soulful Moods of Marvin Gaye, primarily a collection of standards. 
1968, his classic rendition of I Heard It Through the Grapevine was released. The song hit number one on the R&B and pop charts. In 1971, What's Going On, his expansive masterwork was released. The album addresses the concerns of a new era including urban poverty, environmental degradation, and the Vietnam War. In 1983, he received two Grammy Awards for Sexual Healing, a runaway hit immediately after its release. The song appeared on the 1982 album Midnight Love. In 1984, widespread appreciation of Marvin's work and influence has been near constant since his old, untimely death on April 1st of this year. He was posthumously inducted into Rock and Roll Hall of Fame. What's Going On was added to the National Recording Registry of the Library of Congress. And, of course, you might know his death was because his father actually shot him. And this is not an actual vinyl record, but it is a piece of vinyl with a stamp on it. But it does look like a record. On the back, it looks like it has grooves. It feels like it has grooves, but I doubt this would play anything. Um, I don't think this is an actual record, although it looks like one. It looks very, very close to a vinyl 45, and it it is made out of vinyl so it's a nice little set And we put it back in its folio and we'll set it over here. This is just a piece of cardboard. Next, I got um, this set, which I'm not going to take out of plastic the Alabama statehood panel. Um, this is my home state, and it uh, explains a little bit about the state here. And you have four beautiful Alabama stamps that capture the beauty of my home state. So, to go in my other statehood panels. This is really interesting. This is a set of John Lennon stamps. It's also a vinyl book. It is the same exact size as a long play record. And I, um, it says the writer, the artist, the legend on the back. I don't know if there's a record inside of here or not, but I'm going to find out. I almost hate to touch this paper because it's the kind that leaves fingerprints on it. When we take the plastic off, you'll see that these color panels open to reveal another picture of John Lennon wearing sunglasses, which is very clever. So, so you get the full effect. And then has the same words on this side. Now it's like an album sleeve. And if you pull it out very much like a record, it comes in a paper sleeve like this. Very much like an album. If you pull it out, this in fact appears to be um, It looks like it has grooves on it, but I don't think it's a record that you could play. It looks like one, but you, the graphic design on this is really, really cool. And it's a little uh, book about John Lennon. 
and then you have the stamps right here on this uh, quote unquote record which does look and feel like a, re a real record it's nice I'm sure my wife would probably appreciate the graphic design that was put into this. I'm going to put it back into its sleeve. Oop, I don't want to turn anything. Maybe it goes back this way. Yeah, I think it goes in this way. Very, very carefully. So it's not to tear it. Very nice. And finally, the last thing I want to show you is this. This is a lighthouse set. So. shouldn't need my knife anymore so this is once again really cool graphic design and it looks it says lighthouses on the side like it's sort of a of a guidebook or like if you're working in lighthouses maybe you'd have a guidebook like this and you have locations of lighthouses all over the United States Alaska Hawaii Um, Biloxi, Sand Island, Florida, 1990 Lighthouses. And I think this is the issue, it was 1990, of these stamps. And I'm wondering if um, the stamps go in this book I guess we'll find out here it's quite an extensive book it covers all these major lighthouses that were on this 1990 set A lot of pages and then we have the stamps right here and a nice little um, first day of issue on a card mid-atlantic lighthouses no no this is not 1990 these are 2021 stamps huh? I'm not sure unless it's like a reissue so we have the sheet but like I think technically American like American show for example um, I don't this is just really a book you can't really um, I don't really think there's a place to put the stamps or mount the stamps in here I mean It's just a book about the lighthouses, which is interesting information. Like, here's the Thomas Point Show Lighthouse. But I'm not going to peel that stamp off and stick it in there. And I think maybe you could, if you wanted to, you could put it right here. But I'm not going to. I'm just going to keep them in there. Um... And besides, we, we don't even have all of the, the houses in the book. We don't have a stamp for all of them. 
like the Admiralty head. There's not a stamp for that. Um, there's not a stamp for the Cape Hatteras. The West Quaddy, I don't see one. American Show, I don't see one. Sandy Hook, uh, don't see that lighthouse. Split Rock, I don't see. Um, St. Joseph, nope. Spectacle Reef, Old Cape Henry, Cape Lookout, I don't see, Morris Island, I don't see, Tybee Island, Hillsborough Inlet, Diamond Head, Five Finger, Gray's Harbor, Umpqua River, St. George Reef, Matagora, Sabine Pass, Biloxi, Sand Island, Fort Jefferson, Portland Head, Portsmouth Harbor, Boston Harbor, Point Judith, New London, uh, we have this one, we have this one, Montauk Point, right here. And this looks like Navasink Point. No, it's not. That's not it. We do have this one, the Harbor of Refuge. And we have uh, Erie Harbor, Pier Head. And I don't see this one was ever in the book. Um, it's not quite what I expected. I thought this was going to be an album that I could put stamps into. I mean, I'm not disappointed. It's really, really cool. But it's not exactly what I expected. I wonder if it's, this is St. George Reef. No. No, that's not it. It might be the 30 mile one, but it's kind of hard to tell. So. We just can't tell if that's it or not. It's a nice little set. Okay, let's recap. Okay, so we saw this, the lighthouses. The John Lennon record. The... Alabama Statehood panel. The Marvin Gaye set. Whoops. The Sun Science first day covers. And I finished my 2020 stamp yearbook. So, pretty good, uh, wouldn't you say? I hope you enjoyed the video. And until next time, and I will answer comments today. So, until next time, have a good holiday. Bye.